Squarespace. Is it worth the money or is it too expensive? And what should you know before buying it? I will answer these questions and more in today's video. It's gonna be a quick but deep dive into Squarespace's pricing. Let's do this. This is Squarespace's pricing page. Plans are for individual websites, so one website needs one plan. Personal is the entry level plan and it starts at $14 per month when paid annually. When paid monthly, it's $19 per month. So is this expensive? Well, let's compare it to two competitors. Weebly's personal plan is actually much cheaper at $6 per month. But if you scroll down, you'll see that you need to upgrade to the professional plan in order to remove an ad. So the personal plan is cheap, but kind of useless. Now Wix takes a little research because if you just go to Wix.com and check out their pricing, you'll see, oh, combo is only $16 per month. But in the fine print, you can see that's only when you pay annually. They don't show you the monthly cost until you're ready to check out. So let's fast forward to me checking out. And now if we select combo, we can see it costs $23 when paid monthly. So more expensive than Squarespace. So is Squarespace expensive? Yeah, not when compared to competitors. I'd say it's average. Next, I want to explain the differences between these four plans. Basic commerce and advanced commerce are for e-commerce websites. Personal and business will work for most websites, but not e-commerce. Now, why might you upgrade to business from personal? Well, business gives you access to a few features that personal doesn't have. Professional email from Google lets you create a Gmail email address with your domain. So like your name at yourdomain.com. Premium integrations and blocks is a bunch of different things. You can find a complete list in Squarespace's support documentation. The two most important things, code blocks and code injection. These let you add embed codes from other websites or add your own CSS. Other than that, the business plan includes advanced website analytics, but that's mostly uh, e-commerce analytics, so you don't really need it. Business also includes e-commerce features, but I wouldn't suggest you choose this plan for e-commerce because there is a 3% transaction fee. This fee is on top of any credit card processing fees. Instead, if you want to do e-commerce, I'd suggest you upgrade to one of the e-commerce plans because there are no transaction fees. Now, what's the difference between these two commerce plans? Why upgrade to advanced commerce? Well, advanced commerce gives access to some premium features, abandoned cart recovery, subscriptions, advanced shipping, which gives you real-time shipping rates, but that's really only for the US, advanced discounts, and commerce APIs. Now, you can get a free domain name for one year, though this is only if you pay on the yearly billing cycle. This is something that most website builders offer. Otherwise, a .com domain costs $20 per year with Squarespace. Now, if you'd like to save some money on Squarespace, I do have a coupon code. It gets you 10% off your first year. The code is PARTNER10. And if you click my link in the video description and add that code at checkout, you can save some money. Just a heads up, I do earn an affiliate commission from that link. Okay, now let's look at some of the paid add-ons that Squarespace offers. Appointment scheduling lets your visitors book appointments, classes, and manage paid memberships. There are three plans for this that get more expensive as you add a larger team. Members area lets you sell memberships that give access to courses, classes, paid newsletters, and more. It also has three plans, and I think the main thing to focus on is the transaction fee. If you have a lot of members, it will definitely make sense to upgrade to a higher plan. Email marketing is another add-on. There are four plans and the price increases based on how many campaigns and emails you send. Now, the last thing you should know is that it's very easy to cancel Squarespace. There are no stupid hoops to jump through and no phone numbers to call. You just go to billing, subscriptions, and cancel subscription. But I'm not actually gonna do that because I like my Squarespace website. Now again, if you'd like to save some money on Squarespace, this coupon code gives you 10% off. Just click the link in the video description and add the code at checkout. And just so you know, I might earn an affiliate commission for that link. In any case, hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.